All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for those who have just rejoined. We welcome back. We're excited to have you. Um, I am very excited for this next um, session here. Uh, it is going to be short and sweet, but it is really hitting at one of our key points, which is membership. Um, so, of course, as you all know, we are uh, your alumni association and we are currently driven by membership. Um, and so we have brought on Laura Bundrick, who serves as our AVP for um, membership and development over here in the Alumni Association. Laura and I started um, right around the same time. Um, so it's been an absolute pleasure to work with her. Uh, and we will, uh, I look forward to hearing from her today. And Laura, I'm going to share your uh, PowerPoint here for you. Perfect. Thanks. And while you're doing that, Scott, I'll just introduce myself really quickly. As y'all all just heard, I am from Columbia, South Carolina, um, and um, I'm so excited to be to be part of the Alumni Association. Um, so my role specifically is um, I work with our membership program as well as development. So fundraising for various events. Um, as well as donor development. So we're going to dive in a little bit to kind of our membership model and what that looks like. I know there's probably a lot of questions around it and just want to make sure we're all kind of on the same page around what membership looks like for the Alumni Association and why it's so important. Um, so the, the first screen kind of is going to go through um, why membership matters. And this is really a broad overview of the way we position membership. Um, so as you can see here, the Alumni Association is powered by membership. Um, and just to break that down, our basically our membership is a revenue source for the Alumni Association. It is how we build our budget. It is how we fund almost everything that we do. Um, so members enable us to engage more students, host more events and programs, and really build the brand of South Carolina around the world. Um, it continues to be the easiest and best way to give back to the university and support the global network of Gamecocks. So these are two really good kind of summary um, paragraphs about membership in the Alumni Association. So now we're going to kind of dig in um, really to the model and what it looks like and what our current membership um, opportunities are. Okay, so we have our membership divided into two different levels. Um, so individual and dual, um, and you can join for a year at $55, three years at $145 or lifetime at $900. And then dual means um, either a husband and a wife or two people residing in the same household. Um, and that is again, year, three year and lifetime, $65, $165 and $1,100. This is currently directly from our website. Um, and that's how you're able to get in and actually select and then join from this page, rejoin or renew. And then a new opportunity that we've started within the last year or so is our new grad life membership, which has been super successful. I really love this opportunity. Um, it provides graduating seniors with the opportunity to purchase a life membership in the Alumni Association. And along with that, they get a personalized horseshoe brick. Um, and that is $500. And it's that really ends up being a $750 savings. We've seen great success with that so far this graduating year. It's a great gift. Um, and it's available for one year past your actual graduation date. Um, Y'all stop me or message if you have any questions, but I'm going to keep going. So those are kind of, that's like our membership model. So now we kind of look at what does membership mean? Um, and one of the things we've been leaning into is this give, join, and make an impact. So as an alumni association, we are really making an impact um, with our members. So as a member, you have leadership opportunities. I'm I'm preaching to the choir here. Y'all are all active volunteers um, and know that we have 45 active clubs around the world. That is really the backbone of what we call our Gamecock Network. This is how we are able to be all across the world as Gamecock family. Um, and y'all are so essential in really supporting that network. Um, and so your leadership and your volunteer 
in those clubs is an affinity council is so important to us. Um, the affinity councils and interest groups, as you see there, are also led by volunteer members. Um, and those are always for alumni to connect with unique backgrounds and experiences. So that's that idea of leadership. Um, the other, the next section is sort of powering the idea of powering game cognition. So um, the events that, that Scott was just talking about y'all planning, um, those are ways rather they're um, you know, before a game, whether they're career centric, whatever type of event they are, um, our members who attend those events are, you know, we're able to engage with more students and alumni with those events. Um, and then just continuing to build, build the brand and create that um, and enhancing that connection beyond the four years that you're actually here on campus. Um, one of the things I think we're all super proud of that the Alumni Association does is award 230 scholarships every year, and we're growing that um, as we speak. Um, there's a couple different scholarships. I'm, I'm not sure if y'all have talked about those yet on here, but um, our legacy scholarship, which we're going to get into in a minute, is actually for um, children and grandchildren of alumni association members. And then we have several other scholarships either connected directly through one of our clubs or through our affinity councils. And then um, career advancement. So one of the um, ways we wanna make sure that members still feel connected to campus is through career advancement. We're able to provide networking, mentoring. We have an awesome mentorship hub that both alumni, graduate, you know, alumni who have graduated as well as um, students who are seeking employment, any kind of alumni can be part of that. Um, I have actually served as a mentor um, and, and worked with a mentee who wanted, um, you know, career suggestions on putting their resume together as they were getting ready to graduate. So the Mentorship Hub is a great way for career advancement and um, really kind of networking through different career fields. Okay, so now we're going to get into a lot of really specific details about membership. This is where I think we get a lot of questions. So I just wanted to try to break it down. Don't worry, there are a lot of words on this screen, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it make sense. Um, so, you know, membership models are based on specific things, specific benefits that as a member you receive. So I wanted to walk through what those are. Um, so as I mentioned, um, we have, as you'll see there, the, the legacy scholarship, but you also get um, early access and discounted tickets for some of our alumni association events. Um, children and grandchildren, we just talked about that. Discount on space rentals here at the Pastides Alumni Center, the Carolinian, which is our alumni association uh, magazine subscription to that. And then um, when anyone joins and or rejoins, you get a branded membership kit with unique gifts in it that and a, your personalized membership card. Um, and then kind of that idea of campus connection. So there's several things. This is pretty Columbia centric, but but a lot of people who are recently graduating, you know, like this um, consultations at the Career Center, um, the opportunity to purchase an annual recreation card for some of the rec, rec facilities here in Columbia and then barring privileges at the library and then discounts. So we have an access to um, a program that provides discounts. It's a nationwide savings program. Um, horseshoe vit bricks are available at a discount. And then that continuing education within the university structure, there's discounts available there. So these are all of the kind of, if you want to think of them as what people are getting when they join, these are kind of the um, those bullet, this is a bulleted list of those if you, you know, ever need to refer back to this. Um, okay, so part of what Scott and Kennedy asked me to do in this conversation was really help everyone on the call sort of understand our membership program um, and then sort of arm y'all with the, the knowledge and or understanding that you may need to talk about membership. Again, as I, as I said at the beginning, um, membership is essential to the Alumni Association. It is an integral revenue generator for us. Um, and it is really how we fund what y'all are doing in your individual clubs and affinity councils. So what I thought I would do here and feel free to um, fill in in the chat or, or speak up. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, what you think about membership and where do you see membership benefits um, and how does membership benefit you? So feel free to throw out some thoughts there on 
kind of yourself personally, what do you think about membership in the Alumni Association? Anybody want to share? I know it's Friday afternoon, so I understand. <laughs> Yep, so that's great, Martha. It, it supports valuable university programs. Um, and that's something that I don't think a lot of people understand is that um, you know the Alumni Association is really making an impact across the broad spectrum of alumni um, and a, a broad spectrum of programming for all folks who have graduated from the university. Anybody else on be membership benefits or why membership is important? Yeah, I love it. So Ron just commented, as y'all can probably see, um, it's the emotional connection to the university versus the actual physical benefits. So that's great. What we've heard that a lot lately. Um, so, you know, um, I'm a member of this group of alumni association professionals, which sounds um, super exciting. Um, and we talk all about membership all the time. Um, and I think one of the trends that we're seeing in membership across universities, large and small, is this idea, um, exactly what Ron just shared, that kind of that emotional connection back to the university. Um, People are no longer, some people are, I will be clear, some people are looking for what are my benefits, what will I get, but mostly we have seen people who are really um, joining alumni associations or giving back because of that connection, and they understand that that connection, um, you know, is important and, and valuable and is important to them personally. Um, yes, you're also right, Ron. <laughs> Not everyone shares that same sentiment, so it can be challenging to recruit because because some people want to know what's in it for them. So if that question comes up, if somebody is, you know, you're interacting with somebody at a club event or a game watch party, and they want to say, well, what do I get? Um, I would refer you back to that slide that we just went through that actually has the um, the the benefits, and I have those on here too, kind of the big categories of benefits. So if they're in Columbia, they're those campus connections. Those The um, Career Center can also be done virtually. So um, they can rewrite resumes, they can advise you on how to connect with different um, businesses. So the, the campus connections also can be done not just physically in Columbia. The idea of engagement, so um, you know, without membership, you would not be able to be here at this event or whatever. Um, and then the discounts. Um, okay, so sorry, lots of comments coming in fast and furiously. Um, hey, Laura. Yes, I'll, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to jump in real, real quick since you mentioned I'm back to my whole networking and, and career center piece. But I'm really glad that you mentioned the part about um, the career center offering things of uh, virtually as well, because yeah. that is a fantastic benefit that I really believe a lot of people don't recognize that that we are, that is part of what the association pays back to the Career Center um, in order to offer that service. And so, you know, that's there, those three free hours are there for anyone to use that's a member. And so I love that you've mentioned that piece, because I think, you know, um, we recognize that some of these benefits are very Columbia centric. Um, and so really trying to balance the things that are both local, but also so, um, you know, great for, for everybody across the country. Yeah, thanks so much, Tiffany, for saying that. And I think, um, Riley, you made a great point, and Katie, I'm going to touch on both of those too. Um, you know, I think the the idea of, of making an investment in an organization that supports all alumni um, is really important. Everybody is not a sports fan. Everybody is not... Um, a graduate of a certain school or, or whatever the case may be. And so the Alumni Association is really the broad entity that supports all alumni. Um, you know, and, and Katie, you make a really good point. And this is something that, um, you know, the team here has really worked on when we think about kind of the idea of the benefits being catered towards people living in Columbia, we recognize that. Um, and I think, you know, adding that nationwide discount program was just a first step. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot more that we look to do that really broadens sort of this idea of membership and giving and not just being completely um, centered around Columbia. And continuing to help people understand. So um, that's kind of part of what um, my conversation here 
was meant to do is to just help y'all understand. A lot of people don't even understand what the benefits are. So they're here. We candidly have not done a good job of communicating specifically what all the benefits are. Um, so they're here now. Um, and I think one of the things I would encourage y'all to do is as you're having events, as people are asking you, hey, why should I be a member? What is the, you know, what do I get from it? What is, what is it, the reason for that? I think make it personal. Some of the comments that y'all just shared in the chat are exactly um, what I'm talking about. Why are you a member? Why is it important to you? Um, y'all are the boots on the ground in all of our different cities and all of our different um, affinity groups. And so y'all are best able to make it personal and share, you know, why are you a member? Why do you volunteer? Um, and then if it does get into some of those questions, I think that somebody mentioned before, you know, there's some things you can share with them that they get from it. Um, I love to highlight scholarships. I think that resonates with everyone. It's this idea of really supporting future Gamecocks. Um, and then kind of this lifelong connection is that broader appeal. Um, and let me read your thought here real quick. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think um, I can certainly do this. I think the the specific um, benefit, you know, there's not a lot specific per city, except for what y'all, you know, what y'all are doing as a club. And I think just the opportunity for those folks who are in, say, New York to be able to come and connect to fellow Gamecocks at an event is a membership benefit. That is what membership is providing that revenue for membership is providing that connection opportunity. But yes, I would be happy to kind of um, take what I've done here and and make it a little more um, centric for y'all. But these are really the four. If you if you think about how do I take all that that she just said and all the thoughts and all the comments, how to sort of break it down. These are sort of the four recommendations I would I would share, um, you know, make it personal emphasize sort of those big categories so you don't get caught in the nuances of like, oh, you get four free visits and three, you know, just the big categories, highlight our scholarships, and then just continuing to focus on that lifelong connection that the Alumni Association is making across the nation. Hey, Laura. Yeah. One other thing I think could be helpful in this context, um, particularly given Katie's note in the chat about mm -hmm programs um, and membership those for a few, first few years out after graduation. Do you want to just mention briefly the partnership we have with College of Information and Communications this year and one that we hope, um, and for those of you who may still have close relationships with your deans, um, your previous deans, maybe you can help us here, but do you want to mention that a little bit? Because I think it speaks to the same thing we've seen and the thing that Katie's mentioning here about that connection, you know, right at graduation. Yeah, absolutely. And Riley, I will get to your thought in just one second. So um, we have we have launched a, a program um, with CIC this, for this year, for this graduation, and the college is paying for an annual membership for all graduating seniors. There's about 400 graduating seniors this year, and they are getting being gifted an annual membership in the Alumni Association. And one of the things that... Um, we really talked about through this process and, and the reason why they wanted to do this is so that when those students left this home, you know, this physical campus as their home, that they would still feel connected to the university beyond that. Um, we talked a lot about kind of that first year transition and the challenges that recent graduates face as they get out into the world and they're in new cities or they're back at home or they're, you know, starting new jobs and all the things that they encounter and how the Alumni Association can really be a support system for them, um, as well as their CIC family. And as Tiffany alluded to, we're really hoping to um, broaden this to some more colleges and units as we go out from this year, but are excited. I think the other thing that's super important about this, just from a um, kind of a data standpoint, we lose track of a lot of young alumni, and this is a great way for us to be able to keep in touch with them. And then the way that kind of translates to y'all is, it, you know, the better we are able to keep track of these folks, the better we are able to inform you when they are in your cities or whatever. Um, so you'll know, hey, here's five, five new alumni that we know are moving to New York. Um, you know, make sure you invite them to your next event or whatever. So um, just kind of that idea of keeping that connection going. 
Um, and then Riley, I did want to touch on your comment because it's a, it's a great one. And I think um, you, you must be reading the tea leaves for the future. But I think one of the things we're looking to do, as I mentioned earlier, we have really found that folks, um, a lot of folks, I won't say everybody because I do know that some people want to know what those, those specific benefits are, but some people are just really looking to give back. They want to contribute to the overall, um, that overall idea of a lifelong connection. And so they maybe don't want to do a membership or they maybe want to do more than $55 a year or less than 900 or whatever the case may be. And so one of our jobs um, is to make giving easier and to make giving um, really more in line with how people like to give these days. And that may be $10 a month. That may be, um, you know, they're, they're actually giving on behalf of somebody else or giving a gift for somebody else. So we're, we're looking at how to do that and to make sure that people understand that again, giving to the alumni association is easy. Um, and it's, you know, a super efficient way to support the entire alumni network. Other thoughts, questions? Awesome. Did I miss anything, Tiffany, Scott? I hope this was helpful. No, I think you did. I think you covered the, the basis. I love the comment, y'all. I appreciate so much to the yeah. questions and the comments that you guys are making. Um, you know, to, to Laura's point, Riley, about your comment, I mean, I think we all are feeling this same tug right now of, you know, how do we um, offer opportunities, but also put it in a context that really resonates with people. So um, I think, too, if, you know, when you guys walk away today, you may have other thoughts and ideas. And, and, and as we talked about at the beginning this morning, like that is really what this is also meant to do is kind of spur those thoughts um, as well. And I'll just, I'll piggyback on that really quickly, Tiffany, in kind of closing. Um, you know, we're, we're invested in this every day. We're, we're kind of looking at it at lots of, in lots of different ways, but we're also not in your shoes. Um, and so y'all see and hear and experience things that we don't, and we love feedback. Um, membership is a, it, it is a tricky component of alumni associations, like I mentioned, not just here, but everywhere. And so, um, if we're not getting something right, if we need to change something, um, if we're not articulating something in the right way, please let us know. Feel free to call me directly. Um, I welcome that feedback. We just want to make this better and stronger. Um, again, at the end of the day, we want to continue to drive membership. We want to continue to drive giving because it helps us all do uh, what we want to do, which is to, to you know, support the university in, in the long run. So, Definitely provide feedback um, as much as you, as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And I just I appreciate it so much. I'm great. Thank you, Scott and Kennedy, for for giving me some time. Um, and just yeah, be in touch if you have any questions or thoughts or feedback. Thank you, Laura. We really appreciate you coming on and chatting with us all today. If any of you have more questions, um, I'm happy to share Laura's contact information with you all. Um, of course. Uh, it can be found on our website if needed. Um, before we dive into our last session, we're going to take another roughly five minute break here. Um, I know Jesse's already hopped on, but we're going to give uh, those who wanted to come in for that session a little bit of time. Um, so feel free to take a restroom break, hang out, chat with people in the comments or live. Um, but yeah, we appreciate y'all coming on and we'll see you again in a few minutes.